Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys in regards to love and romance. I do want to give you guys a quick update and let you know that we are now open and booking for private consultations. So if you guys are trying to get private consultations, now is the time to reach out to us as we uh, book rather quickly. So just letting you guys know. All right, my lovelies, let's see what's going on. How are you, Sagittarius? I hope you're doing amazing. Let's see what spirit has for you guys in regards to love and romance. Let's see what's going on. Give me the cards of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. How they're viewing the situation or their target or the person of their interest. So also give me the cards that represent the target or person of interest for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, one more shuffle and we're going to get right into it, Sagittarius. Let's not get impatient. <laughs> I know how you guys have a tendency of being, my lovelies. Okay, your first card here is the Three of Wands. So the Three of Wands could represent missing thinking or wanting to connect with someone that is either a distance or for some of you guys, there could have been some type of communication blockage. However, uh, they're definitely heavy on your mind, Sagittarius. You have the Ace of Wands. Sorry, the Ace of Cups. So there is definitely new love around you. We do have a three here, though. So for some of you guys, it could be that you're dealing with two people or that you are feeling a bit stuck because there is a new opportunity that presented itself to you. And you may be feeling like it's not the right time. Now, the next card here is the Hierophant. That's exactly the energy I was sensing Okay, so for some of you guys, it could be dealing with a situation where you're still stuck, committed, or uh, invested in a relationship from the past, and this new love uh, came out of nowhere, or kind of, you know, appeared, uh, and there is a feeling of wanting to take action, um, but at the same time, you're kind of waiting, or perfect timing is what I'm hearing, so for some of you guys, it could be that you're wanting to see if this past connection is actually going to bear fruit. And if it's not, for you to be able to decide to move forward and be able to go towards this new beginning. Um, I do want to mention, though, for some of you guys with the Ace of Cups and the Hierophant, I do see commitment coming in, especially those of you guys that are single and not currently dealing with anyone. I do see commitment coming in. This could be an individual that... Uh, knows exactly what it is that they want and they are not about messing around they're not about wasting their time uh, so be careful with that Sagittarius um, the reason I say that is because they are telling me they're not about to play they're not about the BS they know exactly what it is that they want and they will not hesitate to walk away from any type of connection where they feel that it's very complex or there is a lot of people involved okay now, the person that you're dealing with here is the Five of Wands. So the Five of Wands could represent um, a lot of animosity, a lot of confusion, a lot of people really trying to get this person's uh, attention. I feel that you're dealing with someone that could be either someone that is known in your circle or someone that is very sought after. Uh, it's almost like I'm hearing reputation. So it could be a person that is either very highly admired or respected. Um, this could be an individual that has a lot of options. Um, and they're kind of putting you in this category of amongst the rest. Um, not in a negative way. I feel that they're just very aware of what they bring to the table and the attention that they get from other people. Now, we also have the Princess here of Cups. So the Princess of Cups does represent that regardless if there is other options or other people trying to chase them, trying to get their attention, they're definitely focused on one specific individual because they're focusing here clearly on the cup. So they have a specific individual that they are focusing on. I feel very heavily that this is you, Sagittarius. And the next card is the Four of Wands. So yeah, there is definitely a promise for something long-term. There is a promise of being able to stabilize this connection. Um, commitment may be coming through, or that could be that what they're in search of, what they're wanting. Um, but what they're telling me here with the Five of Wands, I feel that 
this person knows exactly exactly who they are okay um with the princess of cups this is a, a very loving type of energy it's almost like there is a purity to it um as you can see like the water all around it surrounding it this is a person that is very contr in control of their emotions and they see that this cup is overflowing with emotion or overflowing with uh with water which is emotions and they are very composed if you can see here it's like this individual is very much aware of their value or of what they bring to the table um and i feel that though they may be aware of the options that they have they're focused primarily on you but with the three of wands over here i feel that for some of you guys it's almost like either either they're aware that you're in emotionally invested in a situation that is not with them or it could be that that you made it clear to them that they you know that they're not the only person that's trying to get your attention as well and i feel that that if that conversation ever came up i feel that it came off due to you feeling some type of way like insecure about this connection or doubtful of this connection and you could have like either mentioned that or gave the impression of that and this individual's over here sitting like you know what you may have options dear but i have options too so i feel that and it's not in a it's not in a petty way I feel that they they are thinking like you are not aware of my possibilities as well. Do you see what I'm saying? Because they are emotionally mature. They know exactly what it is that they want and they're looking for stability or they're looking for some type of commitment. They're looking for something that is going to lead so, to something long term. So they're definitely not into wasting time, Sagittarius. This could be a third party situation, you guys, because I do see the Hierophant here with the Three of Wands and the Five of Wands. A lot of people being in the mix of this. Now, this is the energy that you need to take on or the action that you need to take for the remaining of the month in regards to this situation or to this connection, Sagittarius. We have the Prince of Swords. Yeah, so there's definitely a need for you to make a decision. The Prince of Swords is about cutting ties or cutting uh, people that are no longer helping us or serving us to our highest good. So this is about cutting toxic behaviors or cutting uh, people that are no longer helping us on our path. This could be if you're stuck in a past situation, Sagittarius, this could be uh, that's the energy that you need to take on in order to be able to fully embrace this new beginning. But there is definitely... It's an action that you definitely need to take if you're wanting to embrace this new beginning. Because I feel that this person over here is like sitting back, like I'm not going to waste my time. I know what I'm bringing to the table or I know what I can bring towards me and I'm not going to water myself down or I'm not going to settle with a third party situation. Or I'm not going to be okay with you often bringing up the conversation that you have options. When, girl, you have no idea how many options I got. Or boy. <laughs> or guy. Um, so again, there is a need for you to cut a certain link or a certain connection to be able to fully embrace this new beginning. Now, the person of your interest here is going to be embracing the Ten of Swords. Yeah. So they're definitely not... Here's the thing. If you're dealing with a situation where you're still dealing with the person from the past, but you're still trying to move towards this new beginning, they're not going to be dealing with that. Ten of Swords signifies they're willing to walk away. They're willing to cut their losses and keep it pushing. Ten of Swords is about an ending cycle, and they're willing or ready to end this connection if you're not decisive or if you're not moving towards them it's kind of like either you catch up or i'm moving on 
um, type of energy here. Ten of Swords can also represent that in the past this person has been hurt and they're not bringing either their guard down or they're not trusting the process. It's like, I'm not going to trust what you're telling me with words. I'm going to trust your actions. Do you see what I'm saying? So again, if you are in this situation where you're dealing with multiple people, keep in mind, um, for some of you guys, you may be dealing with um, water energy. I see fire energy here. Earth energy as well. Air energy. I see all the signs here, really. Um, give me one second. Let me clarify. Spirits, please clarify this Ten of Swords. Oh, okay. So three, f f actually four flipped out. Okay, yeah. So I was asking to clarify this Ten of Swords here. Um, this is the energy that they're going to be embracing or that they're going to be taking action towards um, for the end of this month. And we have the Princess of Swords. They are... It's funny because you have the Prince of Swords here and they have the Princess of Swords. So I feel that for some of you guys, this could be a soulmate type of connection. Yeah, and what they're saying here is um, clarifying the Ten of Swords is the Princess of Swords. They're not going to hesitate. They're not going to blink. If they need to cut you out of their life, they're going to do exactly that. They're cutting out whatever doesn't work for them or whatever is not matching their vibration or their energy. The death card, they're willing to embrace this change and they're willing to walk away. They're not going to self-sacrifice themselves. The two of wands represents passion, desire, partnership. They understand or they uh, embrace this connection, but it's not going to come at the expense of them allowing themselves to put themselves in a situation that's going to hurt them. And the Six of Swords, they are moving on. So if you are currently dealing with this type of energy, Sagittarius, the advice for you is do not hesitate to cut people out that are not working out for you. Especially if you are revisiting the past and it's not the first time that uh, there's been some type of ending. You continuously keep going to the past. What they're telling you is uh, it's time to elevate yourself. It's time to either change your lifestyle or change... Um, the type of life you've been holding on to for so long because it's not allowing you to grow. It's not allowing you to evolve. It's not allowing you to have new experiences in your life. There is a need for some type of stability here. Uh, and they're telling you you have the potential to manifest that Sagittarius, but it's going to be highly based off of your choices and decisions moving forward. Okay. All right, my lovelies. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading, like, share, and comment, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.